ladies it's me your fabric queen fabric empress and today i'm going to be teaching you how to choose the right ashwabi for your occasions and if you're just joining us you are welcome this channel we teach you how to elevate your style effortlessly we get knowledge about our fabrics and about what you can do to make you stand out as a classy and elegant lady in any event and on all occasions. I should be a major highlight of Nigerian weddings and the color, the flair, and the diversities of the traditional ceremonies that happen in Nigerian weddings. Always give the couple an opportunity to showcase their cultural heritage. And of course, in Nigerian weddings, there's a lot of vibrancy, there's a lot of color, and everybody's generally excited and looking forward to celebrating um, the couples. Usually, a typical Nigerian wedding is almost like a social event, or should I say a community gathering, as you have family, friends, well wishers, you have colleagues at work, and everybody willing to gather around the couple to make it surely a big day. Now, considering the caliber of people that are going to be at your wedding, uh, now that you're engaged, you need to ensure that you choose the right ashwabi for your guests and, your, and the people that are going to be at the wedding and they need to understand that you are actually um, choosing something that is colorful, something that is um, vibrant and of course they need to know that you're actually thinking about them as you are choosing the ashwabi. As much as a lot of people want to join you in wearing the ashwabi, Nigerians and fashionable are very fashionable and they always want to stand out and they like custom made attires. So in choosing your ashabi, you must also put that in mind and, and because everybody wants to come with the pepper them um, kind of um, mentality uh, but of course you, you're going to be very careful to be sure that they do not um, choose fabric or things that will outshine the celebrant or the bride and the groom of the wedding. Ashwabi is actually coined from the Yoruba um, language or should I say Yoruba culture and it's, it means um, one for the family. It's usually like uniform, a uniform four that is worn by a family and friends in an event. Even though it's, it's come from Yoruba language, a lot of um, cultures and other people have adopted it already. And in, in various parts of Nigeria and Africa generally, they tend to refer to such clothes as Ashwabi. And the Ashwabi usually depicts togetherness and unity amongst the family and friends of the occasion that makes them actually stand out during the occasion. So, there are five major Ashwabi fabrics for Nigeria weddings. And number one is Ankara. Number two is Ashoke. Number three is Lace. Number four, Kaftan. And number five, Organza material. So this is an Ankara material, as you can see. This is a Lace material. This is what is one of the materials that we use for kaftan. Basically, the kaftan actually um, started for men, but now a lot of people now use also have women made kaftan. I will explain that much later. Then we also have ashoke, like I said earlier, and we have organza material. Ankara is commonly known as African wax print and is manufactured from cotton. It comes with a plastic inspired print patterns. One of the major characteristics of Ankara is the uniformity of the color and intensity both in the front and the back. So Ankara is very versatile fabric that can be used as a shape. The tribalistic patterns and motif make Ankara easily recognizable everywhere. And when Ankara is worn soon, it can go with kaftan, it can also go with other materials and it can even go with lace. Now, because Ankara is pretty cheap and modern, it's popular among younger folks and as a result, Ankara has become a major peak for Ashwabi at Nigeria weddings. Ashoke is a fabric that is designed by the Yoruba tribe. It started in the western Nigeria 
and um, also you have it in some part of the Republic. It is a cloth that is carefully hand woven and takes quite some time to make, so it's often very expensive. But the process of making ashoke has remained the same for a long time. Nevertheless, some people have tried to modernize or put some technology to make it faster, but basically it's still the same. Now, because of the weight of the ashoke, it's not a easy pick or a ready pick for um, ashoke. But these days, they have actually devised means to make it um, a little lighter, so it's easy for for it to be used as ashoke. And usually, basically, the ashoke is used for the abada that's worn by the groom, and it's also used for the art. And of course, the bride also use it for the buba, or should I say, the iro that they use for for Nigerian weddings, basically Yoruba weddings. It's also used as headgears. Um, you see a lot of people you rather use ashoke as headgears um, instead of the other um, types of headgears that we have. So that's ashoke, which is of course one of the major things that you can have in your ashoke as you're planning and preparing for your wedding. Now the tough fabric I'm talking about is lace. Now for many people, lace means elegance, lace means expensive, lace means all that. But lace, of course, is a delicate fabric and it is made from natural materials like silk, viscous, cotton, and wool. The fabric features different types of open work patterns. Popular lace designs are geometric, floral, and botanical. When preparing clothes designs, lace can be used as a main material. It can also be used as a decorative material, maybe to decorate the end of different kind of materials that you're using. So it definitely depicts class and elegance. That's when it comes to lace. So they come in, in they usually come in, in one color, and but they are made brilliantly different and very bright. So when used in weddings, they give a whole different vibe to the entire event. This is one of the things that you can actually choose for your ashram as you're planning for your wedding. Then the fourth one is kaftan. Kaftans are perfect for comfortability and of course wearability. Many families see these qualities as primary drive for choosing kaftan for their event. And that's because it usually comes in like a one fit of kind of fabric. So it's normally loose fitting and it tends to flow when people walk around. So kaftan are also made from cotton and polyester alike. The important factor is that kaftan are lightweight and comfortable to touch. So, of course, the skin feels very comfortable in kaftan. Now, kaftan was originally made from the northerners, but in recent time, a lot of tribes have adopted kaftan as their normal or, should I say, regular way. Kaftan can also be worn in any event apart from weddings, so it, it usually comes as two piece and that makes it stand out. And makes it very creative. You can have a lot of very creative designs from using tan. Now, number five, organza fabric. They are usually very bright and colorful, popular in West Africa. The fabric is widely known for its beauty. A good number of modern organza are woven with polyester and nylon. The fabric is plain weave material that is lightweight and creeps traditionally made from silk. And of course, you have um, cutting variation. The organza is commonly misinterpreted as a sheer material, but on the contrary, it's very strong. Because of its outstanding drape, it's usually used to create gowns and skirts with volume. Vibrant appearance of organza fabric make it a common choice for special occasions. So, whatever is your choice of fabric for, your ashebi out of the five I just mentioned. Make sure you pay attention to durability, convenience, and uniqueness. And you know that Nigeria weddings brings in a lot of spice and sauce, so ensure that your fabric communicates these things. If you'd like to join our community, I'd like you to just subscribe and click the like button. And of course, as you subscribe, when next I'm posting a wonderful video, you are gonna get a notification fast. Thank you.